Okay, what I have here is just a quick little introduction to using Hugen Panorama Stitch. Um, you might say, why don't you just use a wide angle lens uh, instead of stitching panoramas? Well, it's a good question. And there's a couple of answers. You may want a higher resolution image than you can capture with um, just your camera. It also may be useful to alter the projections within Hugen to create different angles, um, which might be difficult to get with your normal wide angle lens. Um, trying to get such acute angles, you sometimes get some um, smear in, your, in the details of the image. Uh, and stitching together a whole bunch of smaller images can help. Uh, or you may want to use a wide open aperture to create a very shallow depth of field um, than you could get with your sensor. Um, this is often called the Brenizer method after the fellow that uh, first used it, I guess, sort of invented it. Now, when you're uh, taking your set of photos, try and start generally somewhere in the centre and work your way around the image, leaving overlap between the shots so the program has some room to work and to match. Um, once you've got your set of images, drag them into Hugen. Don't worry how they line up on the screen. Um, and you just hit the align button and let the program go to work. The, uh, the alignment process will be slow if you have a lot of large images and you'll need to be patient. Um, it's better if you start off with not so many, um, maybe just four or nine or whatever, however many images. Once your image is aligned, you can check the projection. Um, this doesn't make much of a difference on long or telephoto lenses like I'm using here. It's a lot more pronounced on wide angle uh, stitches. Um, the auto straighten works about half the time. Um, can be useful. Uh, you can move the image around, you can uh, manually alter the crop or you can use the automatic cropping tool. Okay, once you've finished adjusting you go back to the main tab and create your panorama. You can choose to keep the intermediate images. Um, most of the time you'll just accept the defaults here. It'll ask you where you want to save the project, what you want to call it, um, the file name of the image is also taken from here. Um, this processing can take a very long time, again, depending on how many images you've got and how large they are. So when you're first doing this, it um, definitely pays to start off small. Anyway, um, best of luck and have some fun.